Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Prom. I'm the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Yin and Yang. And I'm Kiwi Yu. And we're we're looking to get those final uh things today, those final secret endings today. Hopefully. We're gonna be going classic. The the only things left are all available in the classic game. So yeah, we're we're gonna be skipping around a little bit. It's just Everyone just just keep your names. Doesn't really matter who or what does what and how. Today we're going to try to find Scott. Scott's ending. The f ending we haven't got for Scott yet. The furry ending. Hopefully we can get it. We're probably gonna cut any times that we don't get it. So you know, let's hope it's this one. It doesn't really. I don't think it really matters what we do, as far as these go. I don't think we need any items. So, just throw in whatever answers you like. Get some charm. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, the most appealing. Uh. Soft fur. Seems a very Scott-esque thing. Yeah. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully one of us finds this ending, otherwise we're gonna have to probably start re-recording stuff. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Fortunately, I feel like we've seen virtually everything else, so the other three people can just... Chill. Sit back and not do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. anyone feeling like kind of like, oh, we're nearly at the end? Mm -hmm. Like, yes. I'm kind of happy, but I'm kind of sad. Yeah. Boy, this thing's taking a while. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Let's see. I don't think it really matters where anyone goes as long as we're like, well, I mean, you might want to like differentiate your money and your creativity just in case. Okay. Yeah. I think as long as we have differing stats, it's good. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you bump to Scott backstage where he's busy bench pressing a fog machine. When he sees you, he sets down the machine, wipes his forehead, and looks up at you panting. Hey bro, sorry I'm so sweaty. You caught me in the middle of my rehearsal workout. I'm trying to get real swole for the talent show. Okay. I'm gonna do a scene from the end of Hamlet. You know, the one where he plays dead? But for the last part, when Hamlet rips off his shirt and everybody sees his, his, he sees his jacked abs. Well, to be honest bro, I'm not sure I'm jacked enough for the role. If I had another month, I bet I could pull it off, but there's not enough time. Is this the cocaine ending? No, I don't think so, at least. Uh, let's see if he has a trick for the six-pack in minutes. Uh, here I made you these drugs, draw it on with a sharpie. I mean, it doesn't really matter, this isn't a secret ending that we're looking for, so... Uh... Drugs might seem to be smart or fun, and sharpie seems creative. Oh god, they're, they're the same. We yeah, should win for Oh god. Uh Oh my muscles. That's so smart. It was actually creative. Mm -hmm. Why have I been doing all these exercises when I could draw, draw on a six pack? Whoa, whoa, wait. Why stop at a six pack? Why not in an eight pack? Why not a twelve pack? The only limit is my imagination. Scott eventually settles on a thirty on a thirty pack. It looks a little, it looks more like belly hair than muscles, but he thinks it looks great. You gain two charm and one creativity. Well, good for you. Let's hopefully we get a, an ending. Maybe oh god, there's a couple that are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for charm because if you get boldness or fun, it'll just match with smarts. Yeah. Dodgeball, dodgeball, things with the dodging balls and stuff. 
Nearby, you can see Scott and the wolf pack talking. Scott, Scott, we have the greatest power drink today. Check this out, bro. Oh, I love power drinks. God, I just realized I'm going to be talking this entire time. <laughs> yep. But wait, this is cutting edge sports stuff. Does anyone else want to take narration? Just give someone else something to do? I mean, uh, I'll narrate. All right. Go for it. This new cutting edge sports supplement is like none other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can cut, consume it using only your. Oh, that's cocaine. Yeah, this is a cocaine ending. It's called cocaine. Uh, yeah, cocaine. I don't think we want this because we already got it. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully if we, like, uh, don't do anything, we'll get something else. Ah. God damn it, with all these crazy pranks. <laughs> and he's going full wolf mode. Great. Okay. You need to do something to calm down. What? what? I mean, it doesn't matter. We don't. We're not going for it. So. Um. Well, flashy fidget spinner is one of your lower stats. Okay. Let's see him go crazy. You give Fierce Wolf Scott the fidget spinner. He seems to like it. He tries to spin it. But he's so high on coke that he soon grows tired of spinning it and instead wants to write a crime novel. Fifteen minutes and five chapters later, he realizes he could learn Brazilian cuisine. Then he forgets the Pau de Cajillo he was preparing in the oven he purchased online because now he's into pottery and now he's doing all his taxes and your taxes and now he's starting a law firm with a ram and a heart ram heart oh that was a thing somewhere else right yeah that was for the monster camp demo yeah. and now he's taken minus two charm and minus one smarts from you and you've invested it in the stock market and, and it's gone, it's gone. You've solved nothing today. That, that didn't go well. Nope. Okay, so he's done some coke. Maybe he wants to be a furry. He's got some boldness. Boldness. Skip class. Hang on. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I used to not be a narrator. Freaky. And you're considering using the bathroom for its intended purposes for once. Only to find all the stalls occupied by the wolf pack. Now I want a good clean competition, and you're all winners just for try. God, it's still all me. Are <laughs> yeah. we trying to drink out of the toilet? Right, the way to be the winner of the pissing contest is to be the winner of the oh. of the pissing contest. Yeah, P I S S I I I N G. Um, no, that's not quite how it's spelled, but close enough. Oh, hey, Green, are you here to, to watch the competition? I love when sports teams get to try different sports. They just judge the pee on every level. Color, strength, smell, all the important things about werewolf pee. I really hope I win. I hate to be a loser in front of my w fellow wolves. How can I make sure that my pee is the winniest pee? Um. Drink three times your body weight in yellow food dye to make sure you have the brightest pee. The best pee was inside you all along. I'll pee too, in solidarity. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, none of this is furry. First one? It's not a secret ending. Let's go with the first one. Yeah. What an amazing idea. If I drink that much, I'll, I'll be sure to have the most pee, and the strongest pee, and the yellowest pee. As the other wolves warm up for the pee contest by doing push-ups or drinking water or vocal scales, Scott uses his expert athleticism to sprint to the cafeteria, chug a few gallons of food coloring, and sprint back! Everyone position! Ready! Set! Pee! The wolves begin to pee ferociously, but none more ferociously or peeingly than Scott. <laughs> it's at that moment that a ghoul coincidentally enters the bathroom and stops in his tracks. You, you sir! Oh. 
says the ghoul, have the brightest, most spectacular pea I have ever seen. I'm the owner of Pure Lightning Energy Sports Storm Drink, and I would love to sign you as our new spokeswolf. Wow! This is the best day ever! Thank you, Green, for believing in me. And my pea! Ah, oh, shucks, it was nothing. In addition to Scott's gratitude, he gives you plus two money from his sports deal, and you gain plus one charm. Well, that's nice. Yay. <laughs> okay, last chance for that furry ending. Um, Smart. Yeah. Smart. Listening to people and doing things. There you are, swiping through potential monster match dates. He spots Scott pacing and muttering to himself in distress. Stress. You can't bear to see someone so adorable in so much pain, so you might as well try to ease it however you can. Oh, hi there, Blue. Do you think I'm adorable? I think this is it. <gasps> oh. Yes. In fact, you were literally just thinking that. This is really it. We got both the secret endings on the same try. Anyway, the other day I was out in the forest trying to find a quiet place to look and a large branch to do some pull-ups before the big sports game. When suddenly I was approached by all these talking forest animals. There you go. Okay. We got <laughs> it. They were pretty big for forest animals. I had never seen anyone that could talk like that. I mean, other than us werewolves, if you're counting us as animals. And they were just so fuzzy and adorable. But they said they were impressed by my pull-ups and my muscles, and that I was more, even more adorable. So, the nice little forest animals with giant heads made me their king. Which was really, really flattering. I just don't know anything about ruling. I'm not sure if I'm good enough to be king. Aw, poor Scott. It's up to you to, to help him rally. Scott, good. Oh, right, you read him. Scott, a good king is a strong ruler, physically strong. If you can do a hundred push-ups, you can be a good king for sure. True royalty has been inside you all along. Why else would your eyes be royal blue? That sounds like a charm um, thing, which is a pretty good stat. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. My eyes are royal blue. Yes? Liam said they were cerulean. But I always knew that I, that, that wasn't a real word. <laughs> Clever Liam. He was clearly testing me. So if my eyes are royal blue because I had royalty inside me all this time, does that mean I have, like, a little blue king or queen inside of me? Is it like my true self? I always suspected such big muscles couldn't be of this world, so good old Scott is just a mecca for the little blue person to fight against evil. <laughs> okay. I wonder what my real royal name could be. Sir Beef Wellington? Lady McBeef? No, Lady McMuscles. I should ask my loyal furries about that. Furries is what I decided to call those giant furry talking forest animals for short. Oh no. Wait a minute. Thanks for helping me get my confidence back, Blue. You should come meet my furry friends sometime. Well, you've always wanted to hang out with Scott. Not too sure about these circumstances. But it's better than not hanging out at all. You gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. Okay. Woo! Let's trade places. Doesn't really matter, because we know that Blue is... Is it just me or does blue always get the good ones? Ahaha! Ha. Okay. Ran the wheel of randomness. Everybody else but blue could fuck off. <laughs> Lunch time! Okay. So. We don't really need hearts, so maybe blue can go to. to uh, coach. Someone can go to Valerie if they want to just skip it. That's true. I'll, I'll skip it. Skip it. Boop -a -doop -a -doop.
Or you could always go for the box of mystery. Let's do it. Yeah, just see what Why you get. Not? <laughs> oh, the shitter! I've gotten that a bunch lately. Yeah. But isn't that bad? Isn't that like a Damien and Scott ending? Yeah, but... No, it's a Damien and uh, Liam ending. You don't have to do oh. it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so you can either hang out with Scott or I guess go to coach for more stats. Go to Scott. He's got Miranda's table. We've probably seen this a bunch of times. Mm, what's yeah. wrong, Miranda? Isn't it obvious? Oh, it's fish Right here again. on my tray. <laughs> yes. Uh. The fish sticks. Okay, so. What? Uh, so bottom one. Yeah. Get them love for Scott. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with fish sticks. There's a bone here, bite. Da 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 fish sticks. You may partake. Blah blah blah. <laughs> All right. Let's just throw them wherever. It doesn't really matter what happens. That's true. Uh, you just really tried. Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Yeah. Milk? It's a blue. You need other stuff. Let's get the. Come on, whiskey. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember offering that, but you must have chosen it. I'm buying you whiskey. <laughs> We're very fun now. You just pick from the scraps, I suppose. Oof. Hmm. Go flip a coin if you want. I guess it doesn't really matter because we've probably seen all these interactions. More than likely. Yeah. Are you playing any mini money mo? Yeah. Strange, you could have sworn Polly and Damien. Crazy Martin the Werebear. Just find the ghost zone and hide your diplomatic immunity. Doesn't matter. Makes me want to watch Danny Phantom again. Same. I never saw it. <laughs> Shame on you. I know. It was a good show. Heard. Alright, Blue, we're gonna take it to the house. Yeah. Okay. Evening of week one. What are our stats looking like? Oof, we got a couple that are all the same. Uh, yeah. I don't think money's gonna be necessary, no. so maybe we want to differentiate boldness and uh, fun. Yeah. I don't know. Deal with choice. Party. You're practicing your very best monster match when you hear the sounds of an argument. Which is so strange in these sacred hallowed halls of education. Oh, JK, can you imagine? Blue! They made me their king, and they deserve the bestest, most wonderful king there ever was. And I'm gonna work as hard as I can to be that king, no matter what it takes. Scott, you realize they're not cute little baby animals in need of a king, right? They're furries. I know they're furry, Vera. I'm the one who told you that. No, Scott. They're furries. It's a kink. Yes, Vera, there are many kinks in my plan. That's why I need to work them out to be the best ruler. Oh my god. Wow. Forget it. Excuse me, did you say you need help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Do you though? <laughs> being a king is easy, as Daddy always says. Only lewd, only live peasants can stage a rebellion. 
Ooh. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, Miranda, I'm not sure. Fear is your most important weapon. Your second most important weapon is actual weapons. Torture soup spoons, razor teacups, a knife on fire, you know, the usual. Really? I don't know, Miranda. I appreciate the advice, but I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense! I'll go keep the butter knife shuriken right now! Uh... It just seems so unnecessary. There must be a better, kinder way to rule. Right, Blip? Yes. I want them to have a happy time under Scott the First. They've been so nice to me. They've written my, me beautiful songs. Hmm. Which are about my adventures, but most of them are the sort of things I definitely have not done. And they've be and they've made amazing drawings of me. Which are very, very generous in their proportions. I just think they deserve the best leader. Normal rulers make their subjects pay taxes, but what if you pay taxes to them? Flag time! You can't rule a kingdom with no flag. Without a flag, it would be just a bunch of flagless people. Okay, well, the taxes thing is definitely a money thing. Uh-huh. Flag time sounds like creativity. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. You're 120% right. Flags are the best. Let's combine our art powers to create the very best flag ever. You get into an intense art frenzy, which is kind of hot and intimate. Somehow the two of you end up shirtless and sweaty while painting and doodling. After three hours of passionate art activity, you put your clothes on again. Because of peace and see, but mainly because we don't have a shirtless model for Scott. Yes, you do. He was dressed work. as Blobber. <laughs> yes. It's a thing. Well, this is... Genius. No, it's actually a not so bad drawing of Scott Shirtless in the word Scott rules. But sure, why not? You know how to take a compliment. Scott leaves all excited, ready to execute your plan. As your elders always say, any problem can be solved by drawing shirtless people, can it? It sounds like a Zoe thing. Oh. It does. <laughs> Later you stumble upon Scott again. He seems quite excited. There you are, Blue. Your plan was a success. My beloved furries seem to love a flag that's basically just me shirtless. They've declared it a national day that should be celebrated yearly by me by drawing me shirtless. Which is kind of silly, since they do that pretty much every day anyway. But the important thing is that now I'm the best ruler ever, and it's thanks to you. I would love for you to visit my kingdom someday. We might even celebrate Shirtless Scott Day together. Wink. You're pretty sure Shirtless Scott Day is totally, will totally become your all-time favorite festivity. You gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. Nice. Woo. All right. I mean, it really that, doesn't matter where anyone goes. That's very true. Want to just skip one of these? I think you got to go to class to skip one of them. Oh yeah. yeah. Get the package! Damn it. Ah. <laughs> did Green get the shitter? No. I think Oz did. Okay. And blah, 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 blah. And victory's like a car. Just gotta chase it, chase it. No. No use, bro. The biggest games this weekend, and I'm the quarterback, so I gotta give a good pep talk. But, well, I don't know how to talk pep, bro. I've got plenty of pep inside of me, but how do I make it come out of my mouth? I've tried using words, different words, and even grunts and growls, but my teammates just look at me in fear and confusion. <laughs> do you think maybe you could help me talk my pep? Of course you can. You share your secret to an extra peppy talk. Underwear, pep talk, pup talk. I don't know, pick one. Here's the thing you have two sixes, two sevens, and two nines. <laughs> so, depending on what's sharing what, everything could be a failure. Yeah. I like pup talk. That's cute. 
Nice. Oh uh, yeah, that's what. That makes way more sense. I don't even know what pep means, but I do know what pup means, and I've got plenty of those at home. Scott comes back the next day with an armful of half other half wolf pups. They're adorable. They're horrible. They're red horrible. The rest of Scott's team doesn't know whether to flee in terror or snuggle up with the little guys. Oh look how well everybody's getting along. They all love each other. This is gonna way better than expected since I forgot to feed the little guys before I brought them over here. Oh no. Strange. The wolf pups don't seem hungry at all. Also, the other team mysteriously fails to show up to the game. Win-win! You gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. Nice. Oh, oh boy. Ooh. And finally, let's talk shit. Yes. Um... I don't think it matters. No. We just go to the auditorium every day. Mm-hmm. Shows an achievement for it. I think we already have that one. Oh, I think might we might even go for something that we didn't have. I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. You're intrigued. Is it a fever? No, it's just it Damien's a spicy red baby. Yes. G.I. Joe. Mm. Poopy boy. Nativity. Lame. Shut up. Hmm. Prank. No. Ha. One. Catalan. Gerkstun. Nobody. Killing me. Wow. <laughs> uh, check something. Good. Oh, oh no. Oh, so you go to the bathrooms to catch an unsuspecting person taking a shit. You open the first stall and, lucky you, there's someone pooping. What's less lucky is that someone turns out to be something and that something is a wild ostrich. Why though? I don't know. Hmm. You start wondering why there is a a wild ostrich in your school's bathrooms, or why it's taking a shit in such a civilized way. There's no time for wondering, as you have a shitter to catch, even if that shitter is an ostrich. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ostrich is very agile and dodges your tackle. That it starts making loud ostrich noises and running frantically away. Why do they all, why does Damien always end up like chasing around wild animals? <laughs> As there is no consensus on the actual onomatopoeia for the noises an ostrich makes, we'll set a for Well, wamp, well, wamp. You start chasing the ostrich, but it's too fast. The whole scene is not very gracious. It's basically you, all sweaty, chasing a still pooping wild ostrich while screaming, well, wamp, well, wamp. Meanwhile, not so far from there. What the hell is Yellow doing? No idea. Can't remember. Pooping ostrich? Yeah, same here. Sounds like Yellow. Wanna grab some drinks? Sure. Oof. You knew a wild ostrich would ruin your life one of these days. It was written in the stars. You lose minus two charm and minus one smarts. Bad. That weekend, that weekend? What happened that weekend? Something that happened to Green, so it doesn't matter. Unless it affects us somehow. Unless it affects, somehow affects Blue. Sick milkshakes. Scott, uh, that weekend is milkshakes with your buds, Scott, Damien, and Miranda. Conversation is chill and weird, and you're listening to Scott talk about stuff that makes no sense, but you're enjoying yourself. And that's how I learned that even though if Principal Giant Spider is such a nice dude, spiders in general are not nice and like to prey on other insects. Wait. Oh no. What? Are you like 100% sure spiders do that? I would say 120%. No, 128% here. Sure. That's a lot of sureness, Damien. You know what that means, right? 
Help. Yeah, we fu- yeah, we fucked up big time bringing those spiders to Smalltopia. Oh. Smalltopia? What's that? It's a small civilization we discovered outside of school. Miri and I decided we were going to be the rulers of it, and since we've rolled it with our combined smarts, we're like the best rulers ever. I feel like this was a uh, plot somewhere else as well. Yeah, they discovered the, this city of tiny people. On Friday, we found a bunch of cute spiders and we brought them to Smalltopia. We thought they would make a great Smalltopian citizens. They have like eight little hands and to do lots of high-fiving and handshaking with other citizens. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We need to go check on Small Top Smalltopia, Miri. And so the four of you go outside just to discover that, in fact, the little Smalltopian citizens are being hunted down by the merciless spiders. Oh no. No! Do not worry, our beloved subjects. Your rulers are here to solve the situation. There's a lot of ruling in this one. Mm-hmm. A tiny person screamed while fleeing from a spider. For the hundredth time! For the hundredth time, we're called West Pemberley! We're a democracy, and every time you come close to our city, you fuck everything up! Can you hear their tiny screams, Damien? They're asking for our help! Try to stop the spiders! Spiders! Stop doing that! Don't be asshole spiders! Be awesome, friendly spiders! Bad spiders! Bad spiders! They seem to be ignoring your demands, obviously because... Spiders don't count verbal communication as their skill set. You don't have the necessary diplomatic skills to, me to mediate with the spiders. Oh, so this is a charm thing. Oh, sure, that's why. Yes. You're like 156% right. We need someone who will kick ass at diplomacy, but who? You oh definitely have no idea about diplomacy, but maybe you can call one of your most diplomatic friends. Who would that be? Oh, uh, it's either yellow or blue. Part of me feels like we should... Well... I don't think either of them has gone to the gym. Yellow, who was, who was voted most likely to solve a diplomacy conflict involving the spiders last year. Blue who told you last week that her favorite dinosaur is a Diplodocus, which has something to do with diplomacy, right? But you really have no idea what diplomacy is about, but the Diplodocus thing should count. Um, Part of me feels like we should just go with yellow, because we don't want to take the possibility of dropping blue stats. That's true. You right. What war blues charm stats? Uh, I don't know. He's just yelling at the spiders. We already did that. Oh I'm god, the charm was really good. No, look, it's working! Alright. Spiders are not happy. No. No, no not great. Not cool, bro. Terrorism, terrorism isn't good, kid. kids. I don't know how that led to terrorism, but okay. Got the yellow. All right, let's get into the second week. Let's get this furry ending. Yeah. All right, so. Who? I mean, what does yellow need to do? Uh, doesn't matter. Mm, I mean, you already destroyed the the shitter, so. Yeah. Could always take you to the shitter. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you could go just to the auditorium and just keep getting creative. Why not? Maybe Liam <laughs> will love you. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Get that creativity. He finds Scott pacing across the stage, chanting to himself under his breath. Tree, 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 tree. What is tree? Roots, leaves, bark, bark. Bark, bark, woof, 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 bark. No, no, this is too hard. <laughs> <sighs> when I saw that the school play had tryouts and practices, I thought that theater would be like the sports of the arts. But Coach never asks me to become a majestic oak tree. He only asks me to catch balls and sometimes throw them. 
How do I know what it's like to be a tree deep down? I only know how to bark up them and pee on them. Mm. What am I supposed to do? Pee on myself? I mean, that's a pretty easy thing to do. This is not pee on my pants. <laughs> you are what you eat, consume the script. Yes, oh. good plan, pee on yourself. <laughs> I mean, you are pretty creative. Maybe consume the script? Yeah. I've been trying to bulk up for sports, so eating paper is bulk in bulk would probably help. He pulls the script out of his bag, unhinges his jaw, and swallows it whole. <laughs> ah! Oh, paper cut! Paper cut on my throat! Ugh. I get it now. I get how hard it must be to be a tree. A tree is made up entirely of paper cuts. If I were made of paper cuts, I think I'd just stand really still all the time to make sure I wouldn't hurt myself more. <laughs> so, in order to play a tree, I'll just stand still the whole time. We did it! We did it! We did it! You yeah, we Hooray. did it! We did it! You offer Scott some more paper, but he says he prefers not to eat his own kind. He's really getting into character. <laughs> we gain two creativity and one smarts. Wow. Go, Scott. Do you? Yes. Can we get boy. get some smarts? Just make everything an eight. Okay. You uh, look over and see Scott fidgeting in his seat, tail twitching anxiously. My grades aren't looking nearly as good as my biceps, bro. <laughs> my test scores are not as high as my jump shots. My smarts <clears throat> are negative one. <laughs> he seems to have run out of similes, but in a moment he's already forgotten. I just don't want to do bad in class and get kicked off sports team. I guess I could just study and work hard and do my homework. Or I could just make a teacher like me and give me good grades by showing her what a good boy I am. Disrupt the class with the stunning display of athletics, flaunting everything you're good at. Teachers love disruption. Bring the teacher lots of small animal carcasses and pile them at her feet. <laughs> I don't know what anything is or if there's any difference. You are true neutral. We're getting as close to it as possible. Yep. I will say, disrupting the class sounds like fun, which is one of your two lower stats, so... Yeah. Then I go with animal carcasses. Do it. I'm so good at hunting. If she can see that, I can crush a bowl. She'll she'll see I can crush a test. I'll break a birdie like I'll break the bell curve. Hmm. Do you break a bell curve? Do you raise it? I'll raise the bell curve like a barbell. When Mrs. Panthera walks in, Scott has stockpiled carcasses of squirrels, mice, and sparrows, which he carries in his mouth one by one and lays at her feet with great care. Mrs. Panthera is delighted and immediately gives Scott 100 points for showing initiative and showing the rib cages of small mammals. Oh dear. Man, how has no one thought of this before? You gained two boldness and one creativity. <laughs> All right, Blue's Blue. turn. Blue is actually doing something today. Blue, yes. what do you do? Uh, um, I'm going to the gym. I nope, not the gym. Never mind. Mm, um, yeah, skip the gym. I'm going outside. Yeah, why not? Okay. Eat, eat, eat. You turn away from the rage of. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting that I'm not the narrator. It's fine. You turn away from the rage of Pine Scott, nervously sniffing the ground and looking around suspiciously. You ask him what's up and prepare for a stupid answer. He does not disappoint. Isn't it obvious, bro? I mean, you know why all these people are out here, right? 
no. to steal my stash of awesome bones. Mm. They look like they just have it out here having a good time, but that's all a ruse. It's bones they want. My bones. Quick, bro. If you're, if you're really my bro, you'd help me move my bones before all these bros find them. Should, it, should we just pick you up then? Where should I move them to? Tell me. Yeah. Preschool. Nobody ever looks for bones at preschool. Where are <laughs> these bones? You already have near an infinite supply of bones sitting inside of people. Oh um, boy. I mean, this doesn't really matter. I don't think it has anything to do with furries. I don't think so either. Um, no. Preschool, though, does sound like the smart choice. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah! yeah. Hey, that just might work. Everybody knows high schoolers are crazy for bones. They're bone crazy. Um. But preschoolers, yeah. they don't even know what a bone is yet. <laughs> There's Actually, no way they can dig with those well, tiny little eight. baby hands. It's like, do preschoolers even lift? Not at that <laughs> point. No time to wonder, I've got bones to bury. By the following morning, Monster Preschool is totally bone. You gained two gold missing ones, hearts. Alright. And Red's off to do... I don't know, so they just buy something? Red doesn't uh, matter right now. Yeah. Red can skip a turn. Yeah. Buy the box. Buy the box. Buy the, buy the box. box. Buy the box. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> Not very smart. <laughs> Not smart at all. Or very charming. Okay, random time. It's time to get that furry ending after this. Yeah. Oh, after lunch. Never mind. Lunch time. The order of the world. Oh, uh, well, someone can skip a turn with Valerie. I don't think Green's bought anything yet. No. no. Get the box. Get the box. Get the, Get box. the box. Lotto! That's a lot of money. And yeah. Nothing else. Oh, you just like traded all of your stats in for money. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you can go wherever you want, really. Wait. Anyone can go wherever they want. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. Nothing really matters to me. A coven. What are they giving you today? Something. Bag full of quarters. Machine that can successfully reheat fries. You know, I don't think we go for the bag full of quarters very often. Money. Wish granted. Seriously. <laughs> what do you need to do? Laundry. Everybody <laughs> likes quarters. Everybody gets quarters. Scott. Scott Miranda once again. It's the forking That's... spoon. A forking spoon? That's the tuning fork. What's this one? The dairy knife. It's for milk. Wow. What about new silverware? All the time. Genius. Uh, Salad heart. Hands. 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 My favorite. Eat dad. How crude. I know, right? God, I think you are misunderstanding the purposes. Nope, I don't think so. Yep. Silver stuff, and he hurt himself. Stand you're not dead, you're sitting. <sighs> okay. I'll say. Well, fun. Polly. Business ideas. Business ideas. Yep. So many business ideas. Nipples. Just nipples. Yeah. Business idea. Better than nipples? Yes. 
Steak worms or meth? <laughs> meth! It's what's for lunch. Yeah, baby. Profits and meth. Skinny fun powder? Or probably not meth. Perfect um, name. Nipples. nipples. Kill me. Kill me. <gasps> okay, come on. Alright. The last bit. The last bit. And Blue's going on the last bit, huh? Because it's fitting. Yeah. Skip around for most of this. I thought we only had 45 money. I guess that's 99 money now. Your money can will go, grow. Can we go above 99 money? Maybe. Let's see if we Try can go above it. 99 money. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Clicky, 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 clicky. Do, 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 do. Too many. You can. Wow. Wow. That's the richest nice. we've ever been, I think. Mm. Well, apparently, <laughs> making out a CD drive you don't want to, but you have to ask him what he's doing. Best I can, bro. Computer won't go on the internet because of some kind of error. And the only kind of error I know is a fatal error. So, I'm giving the computer math to math to save its life. Ah. Live, damn you! Live! You immediately notice that the computer's ethernet cable is unplugged. We let Scott keep blowing into the CPU. <laughs> Maybe you can have a little fun before you fix it for him. You put on your best troubleshooting face and tell him. The problem is that you're giving mouth to mouth to the computer instead of me. Oh, I've seen this before. You need to take off your clothes and do three laps around the library, yelling all the numbers you know. Um. Um, I think the second one would be boldness, maybe. Yeah. Too bad none of them are a money option. Yeah. It was fun. Oh, of course, Coach does does always say that there's no problem that can't be solved by running enough laps. And computers like numbers, and they never wear clothes. It's so obvious, I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Scott strips down and starts running and yelling. As he completes his first lap, you duck down to plug the cable back in. But you fail to notice Scott come up right behind you. <laughs> Hey, I ran out of numbers. Do you know any other, any other, what are you doing? Oh my god, are you molesting that computer? Computer pervert, computer pervert. The computer is totally fixed, but that doesn't matter because you will never <laughs> be known as a, because you will forever be known as a computer pervert. You lose three charm. Damn. <laughs> lose. But at least Their we're charm rich. charm now zero. God, we got two different people with zero stats. <laughs> yeah. Get that fun. Do okay. <laughs> 21 means you can drink. Blah, 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 blah. You find Scott sadly holding, a, holding an open bottle of power sludge, the food like elixir that gets you ripped. Bro, this protein shake is a bottle of bottle is gross. I don't even know what most of these ingredients are. Flabo Graven? Abercrombie? Kale? Plus it tastes like butt. Not a stranger's butt, which is exciting to smell, but a gross, nasty butt from a butt swamp. I can't just toss it, though. I already opened it. Coach is always saying I gotta finish what I start. Bro, help me find something to mix into this power drink. That'll make me buff and taste good. Make the drink taste good, I mean. I don't need to taste good. I think I taste fine. Try this vial of genie sweat. I stole it from a genie. Good thing I brought these great flavored steroids. Oh Help. boy. You can lose choice, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Dude, yes! I've been always unsure on steroids. It's so hard to determine if they're good or not. <laughs> Pros, they make you buff. Cons, it doesn't seem like something a good boy would do. But I like grape flavor. That's two pros over one con. So now, it has to be a healthy, good thing, right? Shh, you think it's 
Yes. You think it's probably, probably not. not. Oh. <laughs> but you're not a doctor. The doctor you stole the steroids from was a doctor. You came too charming on fun. But. Oh boy. Yeah, you know, let's just go get what? more creativity. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Rehearsal ends for the day, but you notice Scott and Miranda still sitting near the stage, watching something. It looks like two farmers handing a bunch of apples back and forth. Oh, I feel like we've seen this one. I think we yeah. too. Oh, hello! You see, Farmer Jim has nine apples, and he gives six to Farmer Craig. They're like riddles. Is it works out? Says so something. Stroke, st ah. Oh no, of course not. Uh, oranges. Yeah. So smart. You definitely swapped Farmer Jim's apple basket for a crate of oranges. The actors barely miss a beat. Hmm. hmm. I got it. It's all so obvious now. Yes, of course. Oranges are rich in vitamin C. And C is the third letter of the alphabet, which means... The answer is three! Three oranges! No. Thanks for all your help. You're a genius. Oh my god. Now, if only we have no had, knew how to convert the oranges back to apples. You'll let them work that one out on their own. You came three smarts. I don't know how. How? God, I hate hiccups. Oh. <laughs> Happens okay. every time we play this game. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It's a curse. Let's go to class. Uh, take me to class. Vicky's smart. Yeah. Class time. What a blast time. Wow. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Let's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that, it's time for the most important part of school. Visiting Scott's kingdom of furry animals, as promised. When you get to the forest, you find that most of the trees have been decorated with beautiful, intricately drawn pictures of an even more muscular than life Scott, having various kinds of sex with various different giant furry animals. Ew. Jeez. Blue, my royal advisor, here to royally advise me while I sit on my Scott throne and rule over my Scott friends. Aren't these sweet little furry forest creatures devoted to me? It makes my tail wag with joy. <clears throat> oh. It is at that point that you, that one of the sweet little furry forest creatures, giant head falls off, revealing a very startled looking mummy. Yep, we recalled it. Bunch of kiki furry people all doing furry stuff in the woods. We shouldn't have gotten furry <laughs> loud. I, oh no, what, what just happened? Is, is he hurt? Is my little panda friend hurt, or was my panda friend never a panda friend at all? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, no, no. Scott will not be losing his pure joy and innocence over some very shitty costuming skills. <laughs> not on your watch, not today. You think quickly. You know how deer shed their antlers and then they grow back? Talking furry forest creatures shed their heads. Scott, oh. what panda? That panda must have been a cursed prince, and now you've turned him back into a person. Hmm. I think the first one might be smart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. Everything in nature changes with the season. Leaves change color in fall. Bears hibernate in winter. I bring my failing grades up in spring so I don't get kicked off sports teams. And I guess Tuesdays is when giant talking furry forest creatures' heads fall off to reveal someone who looks just like a regular person. For a moment there, I was really, really concerned that I hadn't understood what was going on this whole time. I mean... <laughs> now you have lots of biology books to forge, so... This seems more plausible, but it definitely isn't the craziest plan you've ever had. But now I see that my furry forest friends were on the level the whole time. I love my fairies! 
<laughs> Thank you for being such a good royal advisor, Blue. I feel royally advised. And you feel royally appreciated by the handsomest unwitting king of the fetishists you know. You gain two charm and one boldness. And it's time to go to Monster Prom. Yeah. I don't know that anyone has anyone to go with other than us. The Blues. Yeah. Most people just want to get rejected. Nah. Finally, get that Scott. Scott! You went to Bronze Prom by yourself. Yep. Since it's a wicked world, but it's true. You're your own person, and that's the most important thing. Mm hmm. Yay! Okay. You rock! Just the same thing? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. literally the same words. Yeah. Yeah. If I went to buy themselves, but we don't care. Mm hmm. <gasps> oh. Oh. And now for the good one. Possibly. We don't... Yeah. Prom? I'm not sure, bro. I have a kingdom to rule, and attending prom doesn't seem very responsible as a ruler. I don't know about history. Maybe some other king or queen has stopped ruling their kingdom to attend prom. I should check. I mean, I think you're the person I trust the most, and I love going to prom with you. But my kingdom... Sometimes a good teammate has to make sacrifices for the team. Yeah, the teammate is me, and the team is my kingdom. Oh, and the sacrifice is not going with you to prom. Oh. I truly am sorry. Sometimes there's not enough space. One Scott for both ruling a kingdom and love. Bye. Scott leaves, and you swear you saw a manly tear running down his cheek. Oh. It's okay. You started all this to seduce Scott, but now you put more value on his happiness and on his pursuit of a career as a king of a fake kingdom. You stay by his side as the best furry consigliere that has ever existed. Consigliere. Your relationship with Scott strengthens, and in the end, his kingdom sees that. Scott thought his kingdom and love weren't compatible, yet it seems to be quite the opposite. Scott's subjects started drawing lots of suggested art pieces depicting the two of you. Oh my. <laughs> Zoe's among this crowd. Probably. <laughs> Facing that explicit art made you rethink the nature of your relationship, and it ended up being closer to all the NSFW art. <laughs> no, goodness. Nice. Let's see that ending spell. Ooh, 15 oh. new outcomes. Yep. Wow. We did see a lot of Scott stuff. We got yeah. two more endings. Most likely to buy Saturn. Yep, we have enough money to buy Saturn. Yep. Oh. Let's just skip, skip it, get to the end. See if we unlocked anything. I know we unlocked like some some Polaroids and stuff, but like, is there anything else? He became an athlete. Some sort of band. You don't get it. It's a band, man. <laughs> doop 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. I think we can just go to the menu, right? We can right? skip this. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. yeah Unlock yeah. New, new images, images in the gallery. What are we still missing? Yep. We're still missing the reverse Romanian Wilkinson and some Yowie. Yep. I believe God, so. God, we're so close. God, we're so close. There's our furries. Those are the two. Yeah, we so, first. guys, I forget. Did we already do the narrator ending? Yeah, we did. Yes. Okay. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been forever. Yeah, we got we got everything except for two. So we'll try to get those two the next two times we play this. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye.
Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!